This is Lola Lee T. Hey everyone, how are you guys doing? So Blueface Auntie Lola has entered the chat. <laughs> well, Blueface Mom was on Instagram saying that Blueface Dad was a deadbeat dad and sharing some old family pictures, showing her three baby daddies. And I think this one is Callie's and this one is Dre's. She even shared this sweet clip of Jaden and Blueface and what her and Javon had planned for them. Like I said, this is an old video. Yes, okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, we just did it. Ooh, fancy. Can we just do it all by ourselves? All by yourself? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Does it look great? Yeah, it looks so gummy. Does it? You need TMZ on <laughs> I'm only on video. I ain't on TMZ. Ooh, you hungry? So back to Auntie Lola. So because Carlissa was saying Blueface Daddy was a deadbeat, some fans sent Auntie Lola the screenshot. The fans said, is anyone on Blue's dad's side going to say anything to this crazy bee? Because Blue once said his dad never missed one game of his, but his mom stays bashing all of her baby dads. Maybe it was her that they were trying to get away from, not their kids. In my experience, a father is only as good as their BM allows them to be. Because if some of these women don't get out of the relationship what they want or expect, then they make it. So Auntie Lola clapped back and she said, keep my brother's name, pick out your mouth and IG. Fan sent me this. They know the truth. Talk about your other baby daddies, not my bro. 100. Then she said, that fake A mama blocked me because I'm telling the truth. She wants no smoke. I didn't even know she posted my brother until a fan told me. Blue face father is a great man who raised his son. Run and tell that. Then she said, I am my brother's keeper. Then she said, from people that know my brother, he's always been a great dad. Then she shared some family pictures. She said, real family, we don't chase the fame. Porter's built different. I've always been about my babies. So there we have it. She clapped back at Blueface Mom. And it looks like Blueface Mom is on a blocking spree, blocking other family members. I believe this is her stepdaughter. And the stepdaughter is basically saying that crazy lady blocked all of us. I'm not clearing up nothing about what someone says about anyone else. Very disturbing, but it ain't my place. This is the stepdaughter and she's very beautiful. I believe she's also on their show. Seat, six odd. I don't know how to say it. And while Carlisa was sharing the family pictures and everything, she actually shared a screenshot of her thanking the man that disrespected Andre during his first interview. She said, thank you for handling that like a son. And he said back, yes. And he said, basically, no matter the situation, you're never supposed to disrespect your mother, especially publicly. He said that's how he was raised. And I just want to show you guys a little clip of that interview. Did you see the post? Which one? Oh my gosh, the one where you mentioned that the only thing she taught you was giving and how did she teach you how to give because how a mama do that inside of time to give it? Um, I got a book coming out and then um, I also got an interview with somebody else so I didn't really say too much but I mean it was just kind of one of those talks, I think, that where she was just kind of um, just checking to see where I was at in life. I think just like what you're doing out here in the streets, you know. Um, it might have been, I don't know. It, you just, I, I'd have to just explain it, cause, you know. Uh, but I'm gonna explain it later on. Like I said, I got a book coming out and I got another interview set up. So uh, yeah, you can look for that on that. So you go put this out there, but you're not gonna. 
um, you gonna wait for your book and your other interviews. Yeah, I think it's just giving. I think it's giving. I think it's giving. Um, fake. I think it's giving. Cloud chasing. Um, I think Blueface is the winner. Blow the great winner of the family, and he's nothing. He hasn't made anything, so he's just trying to give him a clock, give him a book and all that. But we don't want to hear about the book. Um, he put his mom out there. Who puts their mom on front street? So that gave like he a fake ass nigga. Let's start that first. So um, yeah, that's what we here for today. So since he cloud chasing, let's give him a cloud. He looking for. So now what happened? Who we here for? You do a give a book yeah, and what all we that. here for? Uh, what was the first thing you said? The first thing y'all introducing him as nobody wouldn't know him. Nobody wouldn't know Andre Harvey right. if he wouldn't say he's Blueface's brother. So people are more interested in Blueface and the girl Kristen he go with the nigga keep the front. Right. He's irrelevant, but I guess he's cloud trying to put the mama on front street. But they get fake ass nigga. Who won't put their mama on front street? Bad or good? That's still your mom. You want to get one? What's up? All right, can I talk now? Yeah, we've been talking about this all. But you talking about a book? Nigga don't hear about no book. Nigga trying to hear what you uploaded talking about. All right. So now we have kind of a point of disrespect. So at this point, me and you can kind of talk on a different level if you want to talk aggressive or be aggressive so we get disrespectful. Well, yeah, like, I'm, I'm, okay. Is that okay. what you're saying? Or okay. do you want to be, you want to have a respectful hold conversation? Because I mean, we could we talk right. like on a different conversation. I'm not really with all the, the rah-rah, you know? Like, not rah-rah, like, I'm, I'm going to be respectful with you, though. I'm going to be respectful with you. You ain't got nothing going on. You're looking for clout. So let's get the clout going. You ain't got nothing going on. Who wants to talk about their mama teaching about eating? All, all that we talking about right now is the disrespect that you just kind of said. So we're about that, so. Being honest with you, we don't. No, we no, don't. We never buy that book. We don't respect it. So the disrespect ain't gonna see what's going on. What's up? But the disrespect ain't like you got some type of animosity. So you want like if you saw me in person, like what's well, up? No, no, the animosity. I mean, because I can see you. Asked, like you can tell me where you're at. Like I live in New York. Some type of way. You see me in some type of way. Like, man, what's up? Don't care. Animosity. I'm just asking, bro. Like you know, you don't have to come out there. You are a journalist or whatever you are. Hold up. You don't have to be all like that. Because I, you know, we can talk. Like you know, that's the listen. That's the point we're here for. For you to talk. You want to talk about it in person? Like we can talk in person if you go. You know, like disrespectful. Like it's no point. Check me out. Check me out. Check right, me out, right, Andre. Can you hear me? Can you I hear me? Can you hear you. Okay, check me out. Can you talk to me, boy? Can you talk to me? Like, you, you can talk. We here to talk to you. I know. You can talk to me respectfully, my man. You not. You not. You, you want to do disrespect? Disrespect is physical. What you got? Physical what, sport. What you, you got going on? Trying to see what you got going on. You talking? You talking a whole different lane? You talking a physical sport? Bro, I'm trying to see what you got going on, bro. Like you getting on your first about you got blue face, brother. That ain't got nothing to do with Team China. What's up? We trying to see what's going on. The disrespect. How your mouth about to be? You probably really don't like yourself, your hairline back far as fuck, you probably short, your beard chiseled, my nigga, like, look at you, and your mama talk like you Hold on, 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 Deal. Okay, so what's up with you, Andre? What's up with you, Andre <laughs> yeah. I think the animosity comes from that we asked you to be on our podcast, and obviously we want to know the whole story. That just right. was very alarming at the end. I mean, it wasn't that. for you. Uh, it, it it was for my mom. Like I said, I did it so I could reach out to her and like wake her up. So did it work? Did your post work? Did your mother? I mean, I got it. I got a time with her. You know, we'll see what her next move is. You know. Okay. But I gotta say, I got a book coming out and a podcast, and I wish you the best, brother. You know, you seem like you probably a cool dude in the streets. You know, you probably just all right because you're a little shit. But I'll, next time, bro, talk to people respect, bro. But it is respect. Okay, because I have a question. The question is, how much you made? How much you made for making a post about your mama? I fuck with y'all, peace and love. I love all y'all. How much you made on your post about your mama? And meanwhile, all of this was going down, Blueface showed us Jane Alexis' new studio that's in the process of being built. Oh, shit, y'all. Milk music. Stay tuned. Told y'all I was going to get a studio going for her so she can record in the house. And she don't got to get a babysitter for this rug rat. Hi. Journey looks so adorable. And... Krishan is still in Atlanta, and while she was there, she stopped by Little Baby's restaurant, and she enjoyed some catfish. Oh, you didn't 
Thank you so very much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any hot tea for me, message me on Instagram. I love you guys. Bye.